Hey everyone, Nevada Nail Person, and today I wanted to share another haul I got from Native War Paints, and they're an indie brand. I like supporting my indie people, and um, another beautiful collection. And um, this is called the what I ordered. I'm reading right from the invoice. The complete meal, the Thanksgiving feast collection. So I thought that would be kind of fun to have. And there's some pretty colors in this collection. Um, the first one, and this is called Pass the Gravy. And if you could see, it is like a pinky brown mauve color. And on the nail ring, I'm trying to get a good shot of that. You could see that there's a slight glitters that kind of shines through. So I would say it's kind of work appropriate even because it's not too gray, not too glittery, I'll say. Not kind of like this, and I'll get to that in a minute. But this is a beautiful color, and I, I really love this color. This, you know, there's not enough days in my nail polish world, I'll say that. So, I can't wait to wear this as well. So this is Past the Gravy, side by side, I will provide as well. You can see there's two coats of polish on the nail wheel. Um, application was fine. This was two coats. I would say it's pretty opaque for two coat, two coats and no issues. So that's a pretty nice, um, effect. Finish, I should, should say, um, no need for a top coat if you're not a top coat girl. So that's the gravy. The next one is called, I guess I'm skipping, no, let's save that one for last. We'll save that for dessert. Um, this one is called Canned Cranberries, and it is a beautiful red wine color with a bunch of holographic glitters of, let's see, there's tiny little, teeny incy little ones, and then some bigger types of holographic glitters as well and it's just enough that picks up that sparkle when you move. This is two coats on my nail ring and it kind of dried um, sort of on the matte side so I would prefer a top coat. Um, I would prefer a glossier finish. And again two coats and that is a nice application. I didn't have to fish or anything for those glitters. so. I think this this is another spectacular color as well. So hopefully in the side-by-side -side you'll be able to see all this wonderful glitter. So that is canned cranberries. And I think I saw a blurb that it might have... It does have a slight scent. <laughs> so um, it does. But... That doesn't matter to me. It's the polish that makes the difference. I don't need scented nail polish, but that's kind of cute. The next color is called Juicy Butterball. And this is a, a nude kind of iridescent color. It's um, not very opaque. Um, here it is on the nail, wear, wheel, nail ring, not the wheel, nail ring. It's um, I don't know if it'll pick up very well. It's kind of like a I would say like a French manicure color, um, kind of nude, iridescent. In fact, this is what is on my nails right now. So you could see my actual um, tip of my nail. So it is sheer, and this is only two coats, and that was fine with me to leave it at that. See, so you're getting some of the shimmer now. So two coats. Went on well, no ap no application issues, nice color for a new day, but however Joanne had to mix it up a little and add some glitter to it. And the glitter in this collection was called Homemade Stuffing, and it is a beautiful gold, coppery, brown, glittery, all different sizes, beautiful color, nice, just shimmery and again that is what I use as the accent part of my nail left my free edge exposed I probably should have done a French did it the opposite but I went for the accent along the cuticle 
So um, that was a little different. So this again is homemade stuffing. And the final piece, dessert, is called whipped cream and pumpkin pie. And it is this white crelly type base. And it is filled with these orangey um, glitters. There's some holographic small glitter as well. Here it is on the nail ring. And if you could see, she also supplied me with some little pumpkins that you could add on. So I thought that was kind of cute. So the, again, this is whipped cream and pumpkin pie. So another nice collection. Great. But that's not it. There's two more. Joanne ordered. Had to order. You know how I roll. <laughs> so she had some clearance. And I had to get this. This was beautiful. Some bunny to love. Bunny. So this is um, an interesting um, mix. It's like pastel shades. Um, you can see there's um, a little heart there as well. And it is just packed with all kinds of spring inspired glitter, I'll say. Um, you can see some hearts there. But it definitely looks like spring to me. So I had to pick this up. It's just a clear base. So just a, a topper, if you will. But I thought this was kind of pretty, especially with the little heart there. So that's somebody to love. So she's probably clearing these out. So if you're interested, I'd jump on there right away. And then the final gorgeousness that I got is called Butterfly Dancer. And here it is on the nail wheel. And look at that color. Look at that holographic huge glitters in there. This is just stunning. And um, I didn't catch any on the wheel. It's actually come up a little bluer than what I'm seeing right now. But in the bottle, and let's see if I could see it, it's called Butterfly Dancer and there's little butterfly glitters in there. Let me see if I could, there's one right there. See it upside down? So I thought that was real pretty for spring as well. So again, Butterfly Dancer. So that was my Native War Paints haul, and this is my second time with them, and I've been real happy with them. So I would say give it a shot. Um, she does pre-order, so they're a little bit cheaper. Um, I think the collection of five, let me just check my tablet. Um, on pre-sale, the five Thanksgiving collection was $38. So that's pretty reasonable for an indie. And... This was eight and this was seven. So pretty good deal for indies. So let's support our indie girls out there. So if you have any questions, as always, let me know and I will talk to you soon. Bye.